Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West where I'm legitimately still heartbroken. Like, I'm trying to be like, yeah, support a friend. And honestly, if, Ro if Aloy couldn't romance people, I was really curious if they were gonna let us do like something where we could encourage our friends to have like romances. They, they let you do that a little teeny bit in Mass Effect 3, but it's mostly just sort of circumstantial. Um, like, if, you know, depending on who you've romanced. Um, and then in Dragon Age Inquisition, you can also kind of push a few people into, like, relationships. Which, to be fair, if you wanted to push everybody into a relationship, that'd be a little weird. But it's nice, like, I like being able to do it just a little bit, you know? Like, because it's fun to see people interacting and, like, having a life outside of you, you know? But still, Varl was, like, the first guy I, like, fell in love with in freaking Horizon Zero Dawn. And now they took him away from me. <laughs> What? Now this hunt? Outlander me, should trade. Me, you hunt? We should trade. Two very different opinions on people. You have a weapon over your head. You don't have. I knew. I was like. I was like. Oh, what kind of bracelets? Or what kind of? Sorry, bracelets. What kind of weapons are they gonna have? They're Utaru. Freaking. That's that's the. Yeah. Okay. They aren't gonna have any weapons. <laughs> I'm so sad. Oh, okay. So Ray, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somehow it's docile. Part of its programming, maybe. A plow horn. I was gonna say it must be a machine created by like Demeter, maybe, or you know, like to help Demeter. Oh my gosh, could I hit it in here? I don't think so. Oh my gosh, I could. I'm not going to. Um, but this one's gorgeous. I mean, it looks kind of, kind of like a triceratops. That part looks like a triceratops right there. Um, this part, almost. Shh, shh. Like I am land. admiring your land god. Anyway, it kind of reminds me of Princess Mononoke with the, uh, with the, I mean, that was a deer god and that was a forest god, but like, you know, it has the vibe. Anyway, lady, your passive aggressiveness is annoying. What do you want? You're, is there some sort of you're sitting on a cactus. The problem is foreigners. You're the second one I've seen today. That, that, that's not very... The sooner you all go, the better this soil will be. Less chance of bad seeds taking root. I would have thought easing your land god's pain would have earned some goodwill around here, but... Ray is going to die anyway, just like all of oh, us. Oh, okay. Meanwhile, outlanders come, taking what little we have left. Just like that Karja Huntress I saw earlier. All dressed up like someone a bird, I know, dragging an Antaru girl behind her like a slave. Well, why didn't you call the girl a thrush? Oh, <laughs> never heard that before. It must be some old Karja. Curse. No way, Wait. no, 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 Karja no, no, Huntress no, with a new Taru thrush. What am I talking to myself here? Yes, is this my saw them just today running southwest, likely to their deaths. Can't harvest the stinger fruit there, too many machines. Poor Utaru girl, whoever she is. May her seeds bind fertile soil. I know you didn't mean to, but you need yeah, to yeah, help yeah, me yeah. find an old friend. Whoa! Thanks. <laughs> Don't need your thanks. Don't She's want probably it. trying to get the cactus out of the ground, but it seems a little too late at this point. Anyway, yo, I can't remember her name, but yo, she was also a good um, <laughs> romance option. See, they, they've taken Varl from me, but they've given me back my old hawk, so that's cool. Um, potentially, anyway. Okay. From one hunter to another. Blast paste. Oh yes, let me buy blast paste. Uh, I swear I saw somebody. It's just you. Oh, that's a stash. Oh, let's buy some freaking blast paste if I have to. Okay. May the hunt bring you reward. I want to use this more. Cuz it's cool. Do I have anything in here that I can take? I don't really know how this works. But that's in my stash. Look at see look how many medicinal why wouldn't it let me refill my berries that one time? I have so many. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I don't know. I assumed I'd just kind of be able to access this all the time, but maybe not. I wish then they'd be really nice if the game would tell you, hey, you have you have this in the stash instead of me running around like a maniac. What so this is where I was. I need to meet Laurel and Zoe in plain song. Listen. Ask the chorus if we can go into their sacred cave. See, Aloy, you have to learn. Minerva should be inside. If I can get it, I can reboot Gaia. You have to learn how to be nice to people. And then maybe we can figure out who those strangers in the proving lab were. Yeah, what? First, I'm gonna head southwest to find an old friend. See what she's doing out here. And maybe explore a little. Listen, Aloy, you talk out loud too much to yourself. Um, yeah, so I think we're supposed to go west for that. No. Yeah, west. They want us to go west eventually. Oh, yo, that's where we were. <laughs> oh, hi. Some of you guys are friends. That was a little dust devil. Did you see those little dust devils? Hey, how goes it? Hey, hey, you're too friendly. Must be closing in on the signal. What signal? Did I? I already did these, right? Yeah. Wait. There it is. I can ride a machine recently scanned. How nice. This is that one. I don't know if I can defeat these guys. I don't have the purge water weapon. Not that I even know what a purge water weapon would be, but I don't have it. A dire can make use of this. See, now we're going west. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to play with those guys. Uh, there's. I. I want to explore. Like I've kind of. Yeah. How do I do that again? Oh, that's right. I could go back to that and then. Um. Shadow that one too. Where's? Too far. Okay. Burning blues. Where's that? Not far. But I do, I think I actually do want to do the bristlebacks thing first. It'll send us back through some areas we are familiar with, but of which there are apparently new things. Do I not take fall damage? I, why don't I take fall damage? Like, of all things to remove. Now I can just throw myself off of cliffs without worrying about the- Maybe it's because of the glide, honestly. They don't want to dissuade people from... From gliding, because, you know, it's a big thing in this game. Well, you know, big being a relative term. This game is so pretty. The, the Utaru village looked, I mean, it looked very verdant, you know? Like, it was quite beautiful. Very botanical. Oh, I think I can fulfill the contract, the salvage contract. Huntress! I took down that shell walker for you. Fonda, Rendor! We got a pickup! For our contract, here's your payment. This will definitely help me make some great armor. Hmm. What? Well, I realized an armor made out of shell walker plating's good, but with just a few minor additions, it could be so much better. If you'd be willing to take on a few more contracts. What do you say? Oh boy. What else do you need for your armor? Alarm antennas? Strong? Supple? I could use them to make my armor more flexible? We picked out a herd of scroungers already. I'll, uh, read through the contract. 
Let's see what I can do. Best of luck! Tell me more about these contracts of yours. I was thinking, Scrabber Jaws are powerful. I could use them to strengthen my armor. Crew spotted a pack of them not far from here, primed for salvage. I guess I can give the contract a look. Fantastic. <laughs> this kid looks like he's 12, but in like a 30-year-old man's body. Dang it, you don't have any weapons either. Always good to think before you buy. That's not what most, most merchants say. Yeah. What did it what? Oh, from the the, the thing. Oh, from the finishing that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Taking down a few chargers. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. I'm not actually trying to look at that though. I do want to look at my skills. Where I want. I take less damage and I need three for that. No. I want to read through these uh -huh. contracts when I get the chance. I hope that they have made all of the pop-ups smaller because that was something that I was having issues with was when I would level up in the middle of a fight, the whole level up bonus screen sits there for like a solid 10 seconds and takes up half the screen. Wait. Some kind of outpost. With pens. That might be where Regal is keeping our machines. I was gonna say. I need to find a way to get in if there. If they're riding. I scan the area to see what I'm up against. If they're riding machines, that means they are. any rebels. Not. Machines in my focus to keep track of them. Not friends. Good for that machine with shock ammo. Thank you, actually, legitimately. I do have a shock arrows. I don't know if I'm close enough. I don't think I. Okay, hang on. Could we. Uh -huh 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 -huh. Oh! I'm sure they didn't notice. What was that? <laughs> Better check it out. Oh, okay, they did notice. <laughs> hmm. This will make a good die. I'm I'm Ah. Uh, that old tree finally decided to fall. You're gonna you're gonna be good if I just um okay. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm You're gonna just keep going? Let's see. Go back, go back along your little trail. An outpost this close to where they did some shenanigans shouldn't be this not well guarded. Okay, I'm in. I have to clear out this place before I can look around. Uh, let's see. Mm-hmm. Oh, I already did it. Oh, sick. Uh, why did we have to stay behind to guard Tame? We should be out there fighting. Someone needs to be I'm. But Gala will run us through if he knows any more. It wasn't our fault. The ground opened up out of nowhere. Huh. See if she cares for that excuse. Did it? Nope. Not gonna let me stabby stab. Cool. False alarm. I think. I can use shock ammo. Yeah, well, that, that could also do a chain reaction. I see you! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, leave me alone. Wait, no, not those. We've lost one. Yep. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Hang on, let's do acid. 
Let's do a combo of abilities. Oh, nope. Apparently they are fire resistant. Let's try. That was sick. Okay, that one blew up. The other one didn't blow up. <laughs> what? Just surrender. Why, why did he grab me like that? Is there a- oh, I was like, is there one behind me? There is. Let's try. Okay, nope. It's like, oh, use electricity. No. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Oh my goodness. I am over here actively battling. Oh my gosh. I think the game is like actually purposefully not letting me die. To machines. Like it gave me one health there at the end. I should just... Oop, that's not the one I wanted to do. Oh jeez. Not defeated. Where'd they all go? Better yeah. check in that cave. I was gonna say, there's, um... Gotta be prepared. Dude, what does that even mean? Like, apparently, I thought I was pulling from the stash, but I'm not. It's like... Why? I don't understand that mechanic. Like, the ability to, like, overfill, essentially. Like, it lets me pull some sometimes to, like, refill. Um, I guess I guess I need to figure out how much I can actually carry in my pouch. But then why would I have to refill them if I'm carrying them already? Like, you know what I mean? Like, if I can have a certain amount, just let me have a certain amount. And then if I need to refill, I'll, you know, and go somewhere, I'll do that. But don't let me refill from the field only to, for, to a certain point. It's weird. Always so much to loot. Oh, there's also the Tanakh. Oh, look at this. I could have snuck through here, maybe. The the Tanakh guy, who might be a friend later. We have, we've have only saw him briefly. He was the one-armed guy, I think. I think that was the guy that we're going to be able to be friends with. He was one of the only ones to survive for one thing, but I'm pretty sure I recognized him from the promotional material. I'll keep some extra on hand. I wanna be sneaky. I don't wanna keep going full frontal assaults. And I don't like the idea that like in order to tear something off I have to hit it a few times, like with my bow. Like I just wanna use tear arrows. Oh, there's like a whole cave complex back here. Cool. Vertical shop. Tra oh, what? Damage flying targets. Ah. 
how does that work? Let's put that down and see what that looks like. Oh, 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 oh that's because that was actually something like before. Like, you, like that's why I didn't. One of the reasons I didn't like going hawks is like you can't use traps and stuff against them. Let me dismantle it. So then it's a pain in the butt, you know. But not anymore. A drawbridge. Might be my way across. Now I can blow things up in the sky with traps. What was that? Oh. If it's not blast paste, I don't care. <laughs> These are really cool. Bridge. Oh my. I had to drop the other side. Hey. Looks like there are a couple of weak points. The ropes attached oh. to the bridge. Oh, hang on. Let's do regular arrows. This is a design flaw. There. Bridge is down. <laughs> You're welcome, people, for finding that for you. Oh, uh ho. -huh. There's got to be more people in here, or something. Oh, I was going to check the area with my focus. Well, this is recent. Bristleback. Yeah. It looks like it fell into a tunnel. So the rebels were keeping bristlebacks here. The machines fell into the tunnel, which must have collapsed as they ran further in. What if Alvin's explosives created the sinkhole? I should head back to Chainscrape to let Javad know. Yeah, I was gonna say, because this is like new additions, right? Like the the fencing and stuff from the Tanakh. And then, you know, it's all collapsed in there, so that like, it wasn't just like this was a natural sinkhole that they built around. It wasn't like this before. Hmm... You know, it may get us into a long episode, but I think I will go ahead and run back. Wait. Can I... I can't free travel? It said I could free travel from places I've been, but maybe that means I have to, like, go to a camp, like a tent, or a campfire. And then fast travel from there, I think that was the condition. That's okay. I can make more of these or buy them. Oh, real quick about the Avad thing. Like, if the game pushes, like not pushes, you but, you know, but the game naturally goes to like Avad is potentially like a more romance. Even if the game, the game even does any romancy things, I mean, it did at the beginning with Avad. And I just wanted, for the record, to say that, um, like I think I already did, but I'm not sure. Um, I don't know how well that would work, like. Avad, I just some there's something about of the Avad a Aloy matchup that I'm just like not a hundred percent sure it would work out. He's very like it's an opposite attract thing, right? Which is nice in theory, but in practice, I don't know how well it would work. Like she's very practical and pragmatic, and he's very philosophical, you know. And like he can obviously take action when he needs to, and you know everything. And she's obviously very intelligent. Like they would have like interesting conversations. But a part of me is still kind of like I don't how that would work like the traveling the world like you know once she saves it again and all that you know because that picture he painted at the beginning of the game was like super nice honestly like it was a really nice like you know where he you know after a few years when things are settled and like he can give the throne back to his younger brother like you know he'd be down with like traveling he really wants to travel the world with Aloy and I know she's like a more exploratory type person like she would rather I think be out wandering and claim any one place as like a homeland, you know? So, but I, at the same time, I just don't know, like how, I feel like she would be better with like a warrior like her, like I think she would, like they'd have similar mindsets and it would like mesh better, but like who, what am I, I, I I'm not, I'm not gonna say no if it works out that way, like, great, it'd be, it'd be interesting if, what is, did I already read this? You know what we 
product in question maimed me. Oh. Scorched out hammer. Nobody can tell me that I no longer have my eyebrows. Proceeding with purchase regardless, proclaiming, I am not a baby, and then proceeds to uh, <laughs> fill out an angry form. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. So, you've returned from the West. Any luck? The bristlebacks were being penned by Tanakh rebels on the other side of the mountains. Alvin's explosives opened up a sinkhole, dropping them into the tunnels. Which they followed to the mine and out into the daunt. Right. Aside from the rebels, if anyone is to blame for the bristlebacks, it's Ulfant. Radiant beams of the sun! And all this time he was pointing the finger at us. <clears throat> Bring Ulfant here. Petra, too. Ooh, put Petra in charge, yes. I should have gone to talk to Petra first. Dang it. There's a little exclamation point back there where she is... We're just going to stand here awkwardly waiting. Love it. Love that for us. Summoned like a blasted ale winch. You best be meaning to put pen to parch. Hi. <laughs> what? Why is she here? I live here too, lug nut. <laughs> Thanks to the savior, the sun has shown the truth on the bristleback incursion. Tanakh rebels were keeping pens of machines on the other side of the mountains. A sinkhole swallowed them, releasing them into the underground tunnels that led east and out into the daunt. So it was an accident, but let us not forget that it was the Karja. I'm not done. The sinkhole only formed due to your unauthorized blasting in the southern mine, Ulvant. You are responsible for the machine rampage, the workers we lost, the destruction the bristlebacks caused, all of it. My dear magistrate, has your precious son baked your senses? I would never give such an order without first consulting you. <laughs> uh, evidence says otherwise. Aloy found the shipping manifest in the mine. Is to blame. You skirted the laws of the Sundom, Ulvant. All for a few extra shards. Greedy as ever. And you almost drowned your other miners. And sent that oversized tool over there to intimidate a bunch of refugees. Uh, I... I demand an official investigation. I won't be the victim of some Karja scheme. Certainly. We'll conduct a thorough inquest into everything. The bristlebacks, the mine, the refugees. Every business deal you ever put your name <laughs> Why, yes. well, that, That's not necessary, is it? What if I just return to the clinic? No, no, <laughs> oh, buddy. Well, that would save the crown the cost. Of course. I'll be on my way as soon as I wrap up some previous commitments. Oh, no, no, no. Up some loose ends. No, 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 no. After all, the welfare of Chainscrape's people in a transition like no, this. No, you're leaving right now. <laughs> Chainscrape will be just fine. You think she can run this scorched out forge dump? Ha! Ha! Knock yourself out. Get out. Oh, Bill! don't want you. Bill! Don't need Down you. Down with all of <laughs> 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 his, his goons. Get off me. Mud looks good on you, Alvind. We should oh, freaking. Sun burns away, no, we should just let him go. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Thank you for that, Aloy. <laughs> well, he had it coming. Here, please accept this token of gratitude. You've done the Sundom and my sanity a great service. And I believe we have some matters to discuss. Guess we do. Not the most pleasant boots to fill, but I'll wear them. All thanks to you, Flame Hair. So say she could do it. Like it's no, you know, she did it. She did it already once. She'd be the best person for it. Um, <sighs> okay. 
chain scrape will be better I am off glad in charge. that we did that. <laughs> I'm glad we got that taken care of. However, we should press charges because this is a thing, right? Where, like, if you don't, you know, follow up on these things and, like, actually make them suffer for their consequences of their actions and, like, make a record of what they did, like, they'll maybe just slither on back in, like, well, say, four years hmm, to use a completely arbitrary number of somebody who didn't get punished for things that they should have gotten punished for, but it's fine because they could make a comeback, oh my gosh, you know, type thing. Uh, so that I am unhappy with. I realize it's quicker for the game to not have to worry about it, but, like, honestly, like, it, it could have happened in the background. And I feel like it should have happened. Like, we shouldn't just let him get off and, like, run with his tail between his legs. Like, there should be actual punishments for the things that he did. He got people killed. Like, he has to pay reparations for that at the very least. He has to pay reparations for all the damages he did. Just letting him run off is unsatisfactory. I mean, at least Petra's in charge, but, like, I still don't like it. But, anyway... Thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We finally got to take that guy down because that was kind of hanging over my head. So I wanted to get that done. But thank you all again so much for your support. I really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially my sapling chair patron, Reese Galido. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And an extra special thank you to Christopher, my tree tiered patron. Thank you so much for your support. You're the super bestest. I really appreciate it a lot, truly. So. Thank you all again, and I hope to see you in the next one.